Adelaide researchers could be on the verge of a breakthrough that would reduce the need for knee and hip replacements among the elderly. They're trialling two new treatments for osteoarthritis, which causes joint pain for 40% of Australians aged over 65. Adelaide grandfather Philip Sanders has already had one knee replacement. Now his good knee is on the way out. If I do too much, it's painful and then I have to go and sit down and put my feet up. The 62-year-old suffers from osteoarthritis, a common condition where the cartilage around joints wears away. We know that the number of um, joint replacements in Australia is increasing dramatically both for knee and for hip, and almost all of those joint replacements, particularly in the knee, are for osteoarthritis. But Professor Hill and researchers at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital are trialling two treatments that could stop the disease progressing. One involves the daily use of medication that lowers cholesterol the other a yearly injection of a different drug which has already been proven to reduce pain. Our main dream would be to um, reduce ongoing cartilage loss for a, for a disease that we don't have a cure for at the moment and to reduce the number of um, knee joint replacements that patients need. The two year trials will involve people over the age of 40 who have knee pain but the results could also help those with shoulder, hip and feet problems. Osteoarthritis is often a general, generalised problem, so people who have knee osteoarthritis often will have it in other joints. If I could help someone else, um, and it may be with the research that people are doing here, maybe they might come up with something new that uh, can help the pain. Anyone wanting to be part of the trial can contact the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Ben Avery, Nine News.